Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS World in the Mission Editor and we're looking at how we can have our AI aircraft attack uh, random targets. So we've got our F-18 set up here and I've got him down as a close air support aircraft. And what I want him to do is I want him to be able to attack a target uh, that spawns in this zone so what it's going to do is he's going to i've got him sitting on a cap between waypoint one and waypoint two so he's going to fly a racetrack pattern around there and then once a target this one here spawns in uh, this uh, zone uh, let's just move him out of the way a little bit so let's put him on the room in there just so it makes a bit of difference so you can see he's, this is the zone that I want my F-18 to search. I can make it as big or small as I like. However, what I've noticed is you've got to be able to uh, think of what this aircraft's radar can do. So, you know, if you had the searching zone directly underneath the aircraft, uh, it's like he's, he's not really using his radar at that point because he's over the zone, so his radar is not able to look down uh, that close to the aircraft. Because he's further away, and his radar can, will be able to see further away, it's easier for him to detect targets. So, you know, it sounds daft, I know, um, but if he was directly over this zone, then he's essentially using his Mark 1 eyeball uh, to find targets rather than his radar. Well, see, it also goes up saying that you have to have an aircraft that is capable of carrying out close air support in order to do this. Okay. So, what I've done here, I'll see, like I said, I've got him set up as a racetrack in his orbit there. And then what I've done is you can add another a new action. And you want to start a task en route. And then it gives you some multiple options here. So we can either have him doing no task, uh, we can have him uh, engage targets of specific types along the route. So if you had him doing a, a route around the entire country, he would just be looking for targets anywhere. Uh, we've got search and, and then engage uh, enemy, uh, set, sorry, search then engage in zone, which is what how I set this up here. So I want him to be able to, anything that pops up here, he's going to go in and he's going to kill. Clean and simple. I can have a search then engage group. So I want him to go out and I want him to engage a specific group. So uh, if I had a convoy, for example, I could have him set up to attack that convoy. Or I could have him set up to engage a specific unit. So that could be uh, just a loan. Even if it's a convoy, it could be just one uh, vehicle in that convoy. Uh, it could be any other unit essentially and then at the bottom we have cast engage enemy ground forces so that again there'll be any enemy ground forces that he can detect okay but for the purpose of this i just want him to engage anything that pops up in this area now what i've done is i've set this target up on a as a late activation so he's going to spawn after a certain amount of time and then hopefully our f-18 up here will pick him up and go in and make the kill. So let's go ahead and have a look, shall we? So here we are, all back in, and um, he's now flying towards his first waypoint where he should begin his cap. Um, so let's go ahead and just speed things up a little bit here, otherwise we'll be waiting all day. And uh, I don't know about you, but I don't have that much time. So you see there's our airfield down there, just behind our aircraft now. It's in the cap, just got past this second waypoint, heading back towards the first, where hopefully he should turn and engage the target if he's spawned in. Hopefully. No, nothing's happened there. Let's speed him up a bit more. Okay, so he's detected something here because he's not turned at his second waypoint. And, yeah. 
Oop, there we go. There's our first weapon away. Going to attack our target, which should be down there. How do I get to the weapon view? There we go. Okay, so here we go. He's on his way. Let's up. Boom. Shacked. Lovely. And that's how we can use uh, this particular function to have our aircraft search and engage targets of opportunity. That I hope you uh, found it useful. Obviously, you can play along with that and uh, have some fun. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section below and I'll try to help you out where I can. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.